On to this recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to make zucchini bread. Something very easy, cheap, and delicious to make. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your comment, and share this video if you liked. The first thing you want to do is you are wanting to mix all the wet ingredients. And you're gonna get a cup of milk, a third cup of vegetable oil, vanilla, and two eggs, and you're gonna mix all that together. After you have all the mix well incorporated, you are wanting to get the dry ingredients. You're gonna get flour, cinnamon, a teaspoon of baking so powder, and a teaspoon of baking soda. And you are going to mix all that together as well. Once you have all the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients ready, what you are wanting to do is you are wanting to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and you are going to mix all that together. Don't forget that if it's too dry, you can add a little bit of more milk to give it a really good consistency, the consistency that we are looking for. Just keep a little bit of milk aside to be adding milk as needed. Make sure you milk mix all well. Now you're gonna add a cup of sugar. You're gonna mix all that together. Make sure that you mix really good so all the ingredients get well incorporated. Making a little bit of my mess over here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna get a zucchini and you're gonna use the smaller part of the grater and you are gonna break I don't like the big the big chunks of zucchini on my bread so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna use a smaller size right here I have the zucchini already grated I'm gonna add it to the batter that I just mix I'm gonna add another cup of sugar and I'm gonna mix well Remember that you need to preheat your oven at a 370 and you're gonna leave it in there for about an hour and 10 minutes. You can also put a little bit of chunks of zucchini in case if you liked. Now to make sure the bread is not gonna stick to the pan that you're gonna cook it with, make sure you put a little bit of flour and you rub the flour. Um, after that you can just pour the butter and look at that guys this has amazing it has an amazing smell wow now that you have this ready you're gonna put it in the oven like I said an hour and 10 an hour and 15 if you need to depending how hot your oven gets and look at that these are the final results on this amazing recipe this is one of my favorite dishes, guys. I used to eat this all the time when I was a child. This, every time I eat this, this uh, recipe, it brings back memories. Good, good memories. Thank you, thank you very much. Look at that. Wow. Perfect. Thank you very much for being one more time here, watching another video here in my kitchen. Thank you very much for leaving your comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel, leave your comment down below for more recipes, share this video in any platform you have, and I will see you next time with another video on Raf Kitchen.